Welcome to MFA. I'm your host, Jawlane Moyo. Uh, today, I would like to talk to you how I managed to quit uh, alcohol and gambling. First, I started drinking uh, at the age of 18. And the first time when I drank, uh, I didn't understand what alcohol was. It just I wanted to feel excited. It felt so good. So my first drink, I think it was in my first, when, when I lived in Leeds, yes, when I lived in Leeds. Uh, was that, it with friends? Yes, it was with friends. It was, it was good. Every young teenager, you know, when you grow up, especially when you get to the age of 18, you want to drink alcohol, you think it's a fun thing. Well, at that time, it was fun. Um, I enjoyed it. Then uh, when he moved on to the point like, um, I, I think I was 21, when I had my first son uh, in Jabulo, then alcohol became a, a, a bit of a problem, not too much, but a bit of a problem. Then when I was 24, 24 or 25, alcohol became a massive big problem. Why? I used to get depressed a lot. Why if it knows so you? So when I would get depressed a lot, I would drink alcohol and I would still uh, go to church and I was a dedicated member of church. I was a, a, a usher and a drummer in the church. But I was still uh, drinking alcohol, still going out, you know, going clubbing and stuff like that. That time it, it felt good. And the church that I was going to, uh, I didn't feel convicted. So what I discovered is uh, alcohol was my runaway place where I can go hide myself. But at the same time, uh, I didn't have any life goals or whatsoever. But I discovered uh, gambling, football gambling. Football gambling was one of the worst mistakes of my life. And when I started uh, doing gambling and um, drinking alcohol at the same time, it was an excitement. I remember I used to wake up in the morning, then I know football is starting at three, Premier League, and I used to bet even uh, football from overseas and stuff like that. It will start good, and then uh, at the end, you end bad, and then it will determine my mood of that day. So if I win, I'll be a happy man. If I lose, I'll be an unhappy person. That's but at the same see. time, I was still going to church. I was still a leader in the church. That's I was when still, you started to see it was a problem. I, I, like a, I could see it was a massive problem. It was impacting my kids and my marriage and stuff like that. I was told so many times to stop, but because of the excitement and the, the thought of, oh, I could make this, I could make that, it, 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 I wouldn't stop. Like I had even inside me, I had a feeling that I would never stop because the feeling inside was telling me that I would never stop drinking, I would never stop gambling. This is my life, this is how I'm supposed to be. And I sort of accepted that and said, you know what, I'm definitely going to hell for this and I'm just going to accept it and do it. So every Why time. Why nicely? When I lose, I started to lose a lot of money, thousands and thousands of pounds. I will feel. Um, like so depressed, extremely depressed, that I will, uh, I will go drink alcohol, I will finish a Jack Daniel bottle by myself, and I will try to cover up every problem. So you were fixing an addiction with another addiction? Yes, I was fixing an addiction with another addiction. So I would drink a lot, but I'll still go to church and I'll still live a reckless life. Like, uh, especially when it comes to drinking, you become like you don't care no more. You have no care of anything because all you want to do is to get that fix, to get that happiness. I know how it feels. And uh, that happiness was a temporary happiness. Even if I'll go out with friends, I'll be the one, the loudest. I'll be the one who acted like I'm enjoying myself because I want to cover up the pain and the hate that I'm feeling inside and the one that I'm causing in my family. So every time what would happen is um, the next day after the hangover, you know, you, I'll see the pain in my family and I will feel guilty. I won't feel happy because I would have promised that, oh, this is my last drink, I'll never drink again. But I find myself drinking again over and over. I'll try to quit every time I try to quit. It wouldn't work. I'll even pray and pray it didn't work. And then um, I kept drinking. So what would have happened is, I think when I was on YouTube or something like that, uh, I come across a pastor called Pastor Gino Jennings. Uh, that pastor, like God, I feel like God sent that pastor to, to help me. 
when I started listening to Pastor Gino Jennings, Pastor Gino Jennings, I remember I'll be in my house listening to him. Sometimes I'll be even be drinking and I'll feel so bad that I'm listening to the man of God and at the same time I'm drinking. And I remember this other time he said, um, if you are living with a wife and you're not married, you are doing something wrong, you're going to hell. And that converted me because all I, I kept thinking, you know, when my wife said, let's get married, let's get married, I would say, oh, no, not now, because I didn't want the stress of marriage. And I just didn't, uh, the, the whole stress, the whole uh, small wedding, I didn't want that. And then I know it involves money and the, I knew I'm gambling and I'm drinking and I won't afford this. There's no way I could afford this. So I decided uh, me and my wife were going to get married. So when we told our family members and everybody, they didn't seem happy at all. And I could understand that uh, it's not them who's not happy, it's the devil. Because Pastor Gino has, 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 has opened a book and then showed me something that I need to do, that the Lord has commanded me to do. And I'm telling you, it was only me and my wife who planned everything, who did everything, who paid for everything. But even though, even if you have paid for everything, there was still problem. There was still so many excuses, like I, I don't have a dress, I don't, but I understand it was not them. It was the devil which was working in so many people to try to stop us. But what I realized is God is faithful. And on that journey, I told myself, I said, look, the devil wants to destroy me. The devil don't want me to get married. What can I do? Then I realized, no, I have to fight. I will never give up. Then I fought, me and my wife, we fought. We, we, oh, that wedding was so amazing. Like, I look back at that wedding, even the videos and the pictures, I say how wonderful God is. From then, it's my life, I was still drinking alcohol, bear in mind. Uh, I was still gambling, and I was still um, uh, listening to worldly music. Then Pastor Gino kept preaching. I kept listening to Pastor Gino. Pastor Gino keeps saying, stop drinking, stop gambling. You're going to go to hell. I listened and I said to myself, um, I'm going to stop, but I didn't stop. He said, stop listening to secular music. I listened, but I didn't stop. Until a day where I said to myself, and I prayed, I said, um, I'm going to stop drinking from now on. And then I find myself going back to drink. Every time I say I stopped, I'll go back. I said I'll stop, I'll go back. Then pastor kept preaching, you will go to hell. If you are drinking, smoking, all of gambling, you will go to hell. And I used to play the lottery as well. Then I made a choice. And that choice was, um, was a very hard choice. Because I said, you know what, Lord? I believe in you. You are, you are my God. You are my healer. If you cannot heal me from this addiction, I don't want to live no more. And I screamed that day. I prayed. I was on my tears. I was heartbroken of the impact that I've caused to other people. And it was a very heartbreaking time for me. I screamed. I beg the Lord, so hard, I beg the Lord. I say, Lord, I know you're listening to me. I know right now you are listening to me now. I need that change for my family. I need that change for me. Because if you cannot change me, there's no point of me leaving. I'm ready. If you want to take me, you can take me. Because there's no point of me bringing so much pain to people, to myself, and I'm not happy the way I am. I didn't, I didn't want to live that kind of life no more. Yeah, I was done with it. I screamed so loud. I was broken. Where were you? I was in my car driving. I screamed so loud. I've never screamed so loud. I was heartbroken. I was broken, broken in pieces. I was ready for everything. I, I didn't have fear of anything. I said, Lord, I know you are there. I know you can heal me. From that day onwards, 
the Lord healed me. When the Lord healed me, and I could feel the excitement after that prayer. I could feel, yes, I'm healed. And the cravings of alcohol, like, that feeling was a great feeling. I had strength. I went and I told my wife, I've stopped drinking. My wife just looked at me and said, oh, you're gonna do it again, you know, like how it is. I tell her, look, I've stopped, but no one believed me. And after that day, I stopped drinking. I stopped gambling. When was this? I stopped, um, that was last year. So I stopped drinking, I stopped gambling. I stopped uh, listening to the worldly music. He, the moment I stopped all this, depression was gone. I was no longer depressed. I was no longer unhappy. Okay, let's pause. I was no longer depressed. I went to every gambling company, Skybeck, Labrox, you name it. I went there, I told them, I'm an addict, block my account. They all blocked my account. I deleted every worldly songs from my list. I stopped going uh, out with friends which drink alcohol. I separated myself from all of these things. When I separated myself, I'm telling you, my life it had a purpose. My marriage became healthier. My kids happier. My parents, so many people even today, my parents, they don't understand what happened to me. But I know in that car what happened to me. I was broken. I, I surrendered my life to Christ. I said, Christ, this is your life. I give it all. He help me. And I, 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 I don't know what to say. Uh, the other time when I would say I'll quit alcohol and go back again is because I get cravings or because like a, I feel like, oh, should I do it again or should I not? No, this time there is no cravings. I can walk anywhere. I don't have to think about drinking. I never think about drinking or... Okay. After the Lord has healed me, the cravings gone, everything gone. I started listening to Pastor Gino Jennings more. Pastor Jennings Jennings was teaching the Bible, what's in the Bible. I left my old church. I left the church that was teaching me what I want to hear, but I still go back and sing. I used even to go to, the, to play drums, and after I've been drinking on yeah. Saturday, and with no guilt, nothing, but with Pastor Gino Jennings, Pastor was so hard, man. And you know, he was teaching me how to be a husband, how to be a man, how to be a father, how to be a, a, a man. I learned in the hard way how to be a man. And I realized all along, every church that I've been through, I've been, I've been there and there, they never teach you, teach you how to be a man. They never give you the hard gospel, the one that you hear from the Bible, not from someone's mind. And my life had purpose after that. I enjoyed, now I'm telling you, I'm a very happy man. I came, I came from being greedy, trying to be a millionaire, trying to play the Lord, to thinking I'm going to win somehow, or thinking I'm going to win a big chunk of money or, 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 or of gambling, football gambling. No. Now I don't. And now there is no gambling that determines my mood no more. And I'm telling you, my, fr my friends who are watching right now, I know what you're saying in your heart about gambling. Yes, it's fun. You can do it. You don't do that much. No. It is the devil. Because if you realize every time when you win, there is excitement. Every time when you lose, there is sadness. Your mood changes. Your mood changes with your wife. Your mood changes with the kids and people around you. You start being a bitter person. You start yelling. You're not happy. It's because of gambling. And on top of that, you are not winning in their money. You're winning the money that you have already invested in them. And I'm telling you, I, I, I'm not a greedy man no more. I can say that. I, I don't want to be a millionaire no more. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, if God make me a millionaire, that would be nice, but I don't uh, uh, crave money. I appreciate the life that the Lord has gave me today. I appreciate the wife that the Lord has gave me, the kids that the Lord has gave me. And I am so happy, like, I don't understand, like, uh, uh, like how to explain to you. I'm no longer depressed. I don't play any secular music, special music that tells that that is hip-hop music is very bad because what happens is when you listen to music, when you take music, alcohol and gambling and combine together, 
it is the biggest recipe of disaster. When you play music, there's a certain feeling that you feel when you play music. When I used to play music, I used to feel like a bad man. I used to feel like, oh, I'm this, I'm that. And like I'm trying to uh, 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 sort of distract myself from the reality that is happening in my life. And music is not a good thing. Like you have to uh, look at the music that you're listening to, the lyrics that you're listening to. Those music, they tell you to do things spiritually, then you end up doing them physical. And I'm telling you, um, the other thing that happened when I, when, I, when I was addicted to alcohol, we lost a friend, one of our friends, in a car crash. And to tell you that alcohol is of the devil, we did not stop drinking. We drank uh, the next day. That should have been a situation. That should have been a, a time where we look back, we reflect, and tell ourselves, look, this is not good. We kept drinking and drinking and drinking, even if someone is dead. We carried that boy, that was my friend's body, and nothing came out of it. We drank that day. My friends, I, I, I thank God for my life. I could have been dead. But I'm alive and I didn't lose my wife, I didn't lose my kids. It is not too late for you. Gambling is bad. There is a spirit behind gambling. Gambling is of the devil. So the devil right now is keeping you. I know some of you even when you're listening, you say, oh, no, I'm not gambling that much. No. The Bible speaks about how the devil is. The devil is like a lion. The lion don't play with no one. He will never play with you. There's a scripture and there's a, they, You know, you have to understand that uh, even uh, alcohol, some of you I know you're saying, I don't drink that much. No, the devil knows. Or oh, if I drink, I don't, I'm not violent, I'm a happy person. No, the devil is keeping you because the devil knows you are not going to enter the kingdom of God because the Bible states that there is no drunkard that will enter into the kingdom of God. And I realize that, you know, I, I, I am very blessed. I'm, I'm so blessed, like, I am super blessed. Like, I don't know, like, uh, how to explain to you. When I started to understand the truth, even the doctrine that I was learning in the falsehood, the prosperity gospel, when I started learning the true gospel, what is written, my eyes open. I realize, oh my God, I've been fooling myself for so many years. And I urge you who's listening to this video, I'm gonna put a link down, if, like down there, for you to, 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 to click on Pastor Gino Jennings Church, because that church, like uh, God has used Pastor Gino Jennings to change my life. I would like to thank God for Pastor Gino Jennings. Pastor Gino Jennings, his, his word that God has gave him, it has helped me mightily. Like, I, I don't know what to say. I am so thankful. Today, I say because of the word that God gave to Pastor Gino Jennings, I'm a married man. I have I, I, I stopped gambling. I've stopped drinking, I've stopped partying, I've stopped secular music just because of the word that I've received from Pastor Gino, God using Pastor Gino on that way. I am so thankful, even if Pastor Gino can see this, I am super thankful. Let him keep doing the work that he's doing. And I, now I, I understand more what it takes to be a man. It's not an easy thing to be a man. And I understand what it takes to be a father, to be a husband. The I'm Bible. so thankful for the Lord for saving me. And today has been a year and I don't crave alcohol, not even, I don't even think about alcohol, I don't even think about gambling. I'm a happy man and I'm so excited. And stay tuned, there's more videos that are coming. Thank you very much. For me, we bear witness, there's no other God but one.